Hey guys, I'm Guy Jubert with Team Wilson Combat. Today we're gonna to be shooting a premium hollow point bullet. It's 124 grain, and we're gonna compare how it does through a sheet of plywood into a gel block against the 90 grain extreme defense from Lehigh Defense. Let's see what happens. So the premium hollow point 124 grain projectile that we just fired through the plywood into the gel block, basically what happened is the nose of that hollow point got completely clogged up with the sheet of plywood and stayed together and never opened up all the way through the block. And it doesn't look like it slowed down much going through the block, but that thing went all the way through and would be concerning about non-threats, uh, potential secondary targets that may be downrange from the initial target. That's not exactly what you want to see, um, but uh, it's what happens when you shoot through certain types of barriers with a hollow point. That nose fills up and doesn't have the ability to expand once it hits the gel type or tissue or f body fluids and open up like it's supposed to. So from a prior test, we shot with no plywood barrier in front of the gel and the hollow point, the premium hollow point, 124 grain opened up beautifully, exactly like it's supposed to by design. And this is the retained bullet, same bullet, 124 grain hollow point from a premium manufacturer. You can see the plywood stuck and embedded in the nose of the hollow point, not allowing the fluid or body tissue that the gel simulates to get in there and open this thing up like it's truly designed to do. Let's see what the uh, 90 grain extreme defense does. We're back to see what the 90 grain extreme defense uh, projectile from Lehigh Defense will do through the plywood and into the gel block out of the same four inch Wilson Combat Professional. Let's give it a try, see what happens. All right, guys, so we're looking at the 90 grain extreme defense projectile from Lehigh Defense shot out of a four inch barreled nine millimeter handgun. It went through the same exact sheet of plywood. This was the premium hollow point hole. This was the 90 grain extreme defense bullet. And as you can see, it traveled into the gel block but was retained within the gel block. So the, the damage, the, the energy transfer that happened inside from the premium hollow point versus the 90 grain extreme defense is very similar. The biggest difference is because of that nose getting clogged up with the plywood, that hollow point didn't open up and basically stayed intact and traveled the entire 20 inches the 90 grain extreme defense traveled about 15 and a half inches with the total with a little bit of bounce back that's impressive traveled 15 and a half inches never left basically everything you want out of a hollow point but because this is designed not to have to open up you don't have to worry about it getting clogged the nose of it getting clogged with whatever the barrier is that you're shooting through and still experience the same performance energy wise but not leave the target and have to worry about over penetration or impacting a secondary target very impressive